belief I've heard as well that um, you know that there are no live cells in umbilical cord blood. Well, it's a common belief because some there are some people and group of people that you know there's agenda behind propagating that kind of belief, which is based on somebody's uh, study, you know, by obtaining stem cells, you know, umbilical cord derived stem cells. So these are, I mean, it's really unfortunate. I, I really wish the field is not so ugly. Um, you know, it's ugly because there are some ugly people in it. Um, there's just, and there's no better way of saying this. Um, there are people who are so vested in their current agenda, right? If they're doing um, certain type of stem cells, uh, especially, you know, I, I'm just going to say it out loud, you know, a lot of the bone marrow derived stem cells, you know, they're groups that are just very, very adamant that that will be the best stem cell source. When, if you look at my presentation uh, from the study around the world, it's not really not my opinion. It's It's been shown that umbilical cord cells are the superior source, but um, but I'm disrupting a whole business model, right? People are making millions and millions of dollars, you know, whole organizations set up to use bone marrow derived stem cells and doctors have invested lots of money getting the training, getting the equipment. Once you get the equipment and you get the training, then pretty much there's no more cost. There's barely any cost for the treatment. So the profit margin is very high. So who am I to come in and talk about umbilical cord stem cells, which made, you know, all their equipment and all the extraction process, you know, unnecessary, right? I don't need to put people through that. I don't need to get old stem cells out of, out of their body and give it back to them because, you know, you're not only creating trauma for them, but the cells you just put in the body have a tendency to be attracted to trauma and they will go right back to the disturbance you just made. And so you're recirculating old stem cells. Um, so I'm showing people the possibilities, but because certain group, group of people see that as a threat, so they can obtain you know, some stem cell vials from some companies. Not all companies are equal either. There are some companies that don't have very good product. Now, this is why I founded my own stem cell company, Charo Biologics, because I want to make sure that people are actually get getting what is promised. Our product has been third party validated to have live stem cells. Um, but but you can't, this is the crazy part. You can't talk about cells being alive because if you talk about cells being alive, and that if we're using the metabolic activity of the stem cells, then somehow that makes it a drug. You know, I still I'm not I'm still not understanding the rationale, but that was that that is the uh, that's what the official statement is, right? So we can't talk about the stem cells, but yes, it's being validated. Cells are alive, high viability. You know, after thawing, they're they're alive, and and we've even done colony forming unit. Uh, assay, CFU assay, which is putting these cells on a petri dish and allow them to multiply. So, so we can see a colony forming, which means the cells are alive and well and started forming more offsprings, right? So it's a definitive test that these cells are alive. But you, if somebody, you know, with a different agenda decide to get some, some products, we don't know what, how the product was treated, how they were thawed, were they left on the counter for hours, like what was happening. And, and then, you know, maybe some products are not good. So there are very few life cells. So then they post on their blog and it's, you know, broadcasting that there's no life cells. And some people are very vocal and that sound very convincing. So a lot of people buy into it. So that's how the myth started. And because there's a purpose to the myth, right? It's beneficial, just like, when you know overseas companies labs will be very happy to say that stem cell therapy is illegal in the u.s so everybody's flying out of the u.s to them to get treatment same thing here that the people say oh there's no life cells in these umbilical cord birth tissue products so then you know then it's horrible right why do them then go back to you know the bone marrow fat derived you know so 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 that's how that myth was started and it's almost it's it's so ludicrous you know, so when people said, I heard there's no life cells. So how do you argue with a lie? Yes, I mean, all I can say, yes, there are. <laughs> so, but they said, well, you know, so-and-so said there's none. I said, well, but we have studies showing there are. So I don't know what else to say to you. So that's the, yeah, that's the life cell part.